<laughs> Back then, this, this stuff really meant uh, something to me, like big time. <laughs> Baden-Württemberg is a triathlon championships first place juniors in 2002. <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts about my last year in the sport of triathlon and my last year as a professional. Um, it's almost like being at the start line. It's a mix of all, all the emotions. And I think when I look back at my sporting career, that what sticks most to me is that I've been able to live a life with a lot of up and downs. Sebastian Kienle from Dri Team Heuchelberg is a erfolgreicher Gewinner des Triathlon. But never shy of intensity, let's put it that way. <laughs> I mean, uh, to be able to call something your job, that has you on the on the highest mountain of joy and on a random hotel floor crying. Um, I think that's what it's all about. I mean, it's um, yeah, it has been it has been great, and that's what I want to do in my last year is enjoy it um, uh, to the fullest because then it's over. Was denkst du gerade? Ich lese gerade, was da steht. Wein, Tod, Gott und Krieg. Das ist jedes Mal bei jeder, äh, <lacht> bei jedem Start von jedem Intervall zu lesen ist gut, oder? It's, it has been tough sometimes to get motivated again, you know, and I, I realized and I al always told myself, so uh, when do you retire? Well, that's not difficult. When I feel that, I, that I'm not motivated about it anymore and I started to slowly feel that it's gonna get more difficult, you know, to get fired up about these races. But, yeah, now it's, the motivation is definitely back. Usually, you always can say, next year, next year. You know, I'm gonna do this next year. And it was the same for me, you know. I mean, in all those years, I've always told myself, yeah, but there's another year, there's another year. You know, I can do this next year. Um, just not right now. Now there's no next year, you know. It's just this one last next year. that I think you you're able to enjoy it a little bit more and also yeah put your feet off the beaten path do things that uh, you have not been able to do before uh, that you probably uh, have been afraid to do you know um, 
that was not mainstream, not part of the script. But at the same time, also go back to where you started. So that's what it's all about in this last year. I think that's one of the things I'm gonna enjoy to uh, to be able to discover new places. You know, I mean, the sport of triathlon opened the window to the world for me. You know, I mean, if I would have not become a professional athlete, I think it would have been very, very difficult to meet so many people, to see so many great places. Not a lot of people have that privilege to start um, this last year, basically with a white, you know, sheet and just write down all your ideas and, and you feel welcome everywhere. You know, I mean, I uh, think about so many great races and of course I can't do all of them, but uh, I can do a lot. Uh, I hope I can do a lot. I hope my body allows me to. And that's something absolutely great. You know, usually, uh, Athletes, even if you have that success, it's like it's not your choice. You know, it's not your choice where you want to end your career and how you want to end your career. It's usually uh, other people's choice, and for me, it's my own choice. You know, and that's something really cool. You've been told that Norseman is one of the world's toughest triathlons. I can remember that feeling when I when I did my first 70.3 race before Rapperswil, you know, and I mean months before the race, I thought about every single detail about this race and going through my mind. And now it's again, it's the same thing, you know, I'm thinking about some of these races and it m makes me feel like I'm, you know, 21 again. and. Uh, getting really excited about these these big races, about my first trip to the US and uh, stuff like that, yeah. But it's not just that, it's also giving back to the sport that gave me so much, you know, um, to the people in the sport that loved me. Giving back to them is also something I would love to do, you know. Also giving back to some of the of the races that helped me, you know, cut my teeth and yeah, become the athlete I am. When you look at some of these these races I put on the on the table, you know, it's either they have a lot of history with me, um, or they're, they're new, they're big, there's probably something that you're scared of. Um, it's this feeling uh, again that you had before your long, first long course race or before your first 70.3 race. In the sport of triathlon and, and, and especially uh, pretty much probably in every professional sport, what you get really good at is lying to yourself, you know, telling yourself um, nice, nice things and nice stories, you know. But at the end, you know, it's not 100% true because there's always a next training session, always a next interval set, always a next race and so on and so on and so on.
countdown is real. After this countdown, it's over. It's not another fake countdown. You gonna bullshit yourself. Um, no, it's yeah, it's over. <laughs> and talking about it makes it even more real. You know, um, sometimes you forget about it. Sometimes you just you just live like there is another year. <laughs> and uh, um, but then you realize, oh no, it's uh, it's not. Quite funny because I always thought I didn't want that much races when I was younger, but I actually won a couple of races. Ah, this actually really means something to me. This, this is kind of crazy actually. It is kind of really crazy that I pulled this out, one out because we just uh, we just got this. Um, box of shit down <laughs> down and we thought it's gonna be quite funny to pull out some uh, some of these things and uh, luckily enough I pulled one out and that this one really changed my life actually for a lot of people <laughs> this means absolutely nothing it's not even the first place it's the third place at the local 10k run on a Spargelauf in in the year of 2006, and I don't I don't know if I, my wife ever watches <laughs> my YouTube videos. Probably not. But in this race, I just became third place at the men's because I was pacing my future wife. Back then, we just met, and that was kind of like my strategy to. Uh, yeah, to get to know her a little bit better um, and I offered her to pace her for her next race and at this run in 2006 I paced her and obviously she became the third male, there were just two males ahead of us and um, yeah and and she ran uh, I think um, uh, top uh, five all times at in, no, top 5 in the, in the year of 2006 and 10k uh, um, times in the women's in, uh, in Germany and well, I think a couple of days later we were a couple and um, not too much uh, longer I married her and now we have a kid so <laughs> I pulled this one out so after all, it was a good idea that my parents didn't throw this whole box in the garbage. Because at the end, it helps you to remember and I think um, that's uh, what lasts, right? It's the memories after a long career, a box full of memories. Oh, this is good words. I should save this for the last, last episode of Discontinued, but um, I think it's already time to say thank you to everybody uh, who was cheering me on in the last yeah, 25 years in the sport of triathlon. Um, also to all the bad comments I ever got. Um, as you know, they stick much longer with you than the good ones and sometimes it's a great motivation to prove people wrong. So thanks for all the bad comments also under this video. I really enjoy it. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, in, in, in general, um, it just has been great to be a part of a sport that just has such a friendly and, um, yeah, and just inclusive in, environment where everybody's uh, welcome. And over the years, you start to enjoy that side of the sport much more especially in this last year, you know, uh, usually uh, I kind of like didn't even allow myself to, uh, to uh, scroll through the, the comments after I had a great win or something like that, because I always thought if I think too much about that, I'm going to be a fat and satisfied pick and not able to win races anymore. And now I enjoy that much more. So thanks uh, to everybody and uh, yeah. Enjoy the show. Discontinue, baby. <laughs>